remember as you're welcome once again to this application of partial differentiation. We are given that the diffraction y at the center of a rod is known to be given by y is equal to w y is equal to w s cubed out of 4. When w is the total load, okay, this is the diameter and s is the length. Use partial differentiation to find the percentage change in y. So we are looking for, you can use del y or you can also use this. Okay, the change in y um, when w, okay, so when w changes by 0 0.02. This is uh, 1 to so, 0 0.02. And del s, or the change in s, is, is negative 0 0.03 because we are told s decreases. And the change in d is, the change in d is increased by 0 0.01. So we are having a positive 0 0.01. So now from there, you know this is a function, this y is a function of w, s, and d. That's what you're supposed to understand. And therefore, we are going to be using partial differentiation. So we are going to be looking for del y, del w, which is equal to s cubed out of d to power 4. You keep s cubed out of d to power 4 a constant and differentiate w with respect to w. I mean differentiate this uh, component which will be kw with respect to w. Then we go to next. Next we have del y by del s will equal to keep w out of d to power 4 as a constant and vary s cubed. So uh, if I take the derivative of that, this will be 3 s squared w divided by d to power 4. Next is us getting what? Getting the derivative of y with respect to with respect to um, with respect to d. So we said this is the same as w s cubed d to power negative 4. Yes. So let's look for del y del d. So del y del d is going to be, you keep w and s cubed constant, you vary d, then you make sure that you differentiate this y with respect to d. So I'm going to multiply by negative 4 here and I reduce the power by 1. So this becomes negative 4 w s cubed then d to power negative 5 which is the same as negative 4 s cubed w divided by d to power 5. What is going to happen is that I want the change in W. So this becomes del Y by del, for example, we, be, we began with the del W. Okay, I might pry by the change in W plus del Y by del S. I might pry by the change in S plus del y by del d. I might try by the change in d. In d. The change in d. So, but we go back and check what was a negative and what was a positive. The change in s is a negative, but let's leave it at that. The negative shall come in when we substitute. So, our change 
in y will be del y del w, which is s cube divided by d power 4. We multiply by, okay, the change in w. So the change in w given to us was 0 0.02 plus del y del s is 3 s squared w divided by d to the power 4 of 0. Point, uh, del s is del s a positive, del s is a negative. 0. 0.03. We add del y del d, del y del d is negative 4 s cubed w negative 4 s cubed w divided by d to power 5 but we are multiplying it by changing d which is 0 0.01 yes <coughs> mm -hmm. so let's move forward move forward forward and put in, put in our values. So these are what we had. So what we had were in percentages. We had were in percentages. So what we would do, do actually, what we would do here, the change, the percentage, this is the percentage increase. So the percentage increase in W this would be the 0 0.02 times W. Uh, the S increases by, so the increase in S would be that percentage times S. Then the increase in Y, I mean in D, this would be 0 0.01 times, times D. So you have to understand, the, these are percentages and therefore, they are going to be multiplied by the original values. So to get the increase, for example, uh, in D, this would be this D times the 1%. Yes. Yes. So this is, we are saying, if you are talking about an increase in D by... 1 percent okay increase in d we are saying d increases by 1 percent so this is going to equal to d times 1 out of 100 which gives you 0 0.01 times d so uh, those are the increase the increases that you're going to be multiplying that you're going to be multiplying um, on the rates of change. In other words, we are looking for the rate of change of y, okay, the rate of change of y when we have the rate of change of y with respect to w times the change in w. So here we are going to add w. Here we are going to add um, this is, this was ds, no, was it ds? Yes. Uh -huh. Then this was with d. So what does that mean? The change in y will obviously become ws cubed out of um, d to power 4 into Remember, this is d to power 5 times d here, so it will also go. When you look at it, when you look at it, this and that d will go. So that you remain with, you remain with the d power 4. So here I will have 0 0.02 plus minus 0 0.03. Then again, minus. <clears throat> Remember, this is uh, 9, so I multiply by the 3 here. So 
let me say three then minus the four times zero point zero one so what does that become the change in y will equal to w s cubed out of d to power four of what is e this is point point zero two minus point zero nine minus point zero four and I'm having negative zero point one one so the change in y the change in y okay will equal to negative 0 0.11 times y because we already know that y is w s cubed divided by d to power 4 this one is already known what does that mean the percentage the percentage change in y will be what we have as change in y divided by y and this becomes negative Obviously, we need to multiply it by uh, 100, so we multiply by 100. So that change will become negative 0 0.11, that is y, divided by y, times 100. This becomes negative 11%. That means the y, a y which is... Um, what was it? Let's check in our question. Y is the diffraction. So the diffraction, the diffraction, the diffraction Y decreased or decreases by 11%. That is the interpretation. I hope you can understand how we started. First of all, you need to understand the small changes. Then you also appreciate that this is a function of three independent variables. So getting the change in Y with respect to each independent variable, you do need to use partial differential, uh, partial differentiation. Then later on, combine them together to get the total uh, change in Y, which would be as we have stated it here, then put in all the information that you have. Because we said the change in W, given the percentage, uh, if it is an increase, then if we are looking for it, it would be that W times the percentage increase. DS would be the S times the percentage, percentage decrease. D would be uh, now the D times the percentage increase. So when you incorporate everything in there, we found that we had the change in y as y itself times negative 0 0.1. But when we again look for the percentage change, we find that we are having negative 11%, which shows, the negative shows, that this diffraction decreased by 11% as, as the, the W, which is the total load, increased. Um, S, which is the length of the road, decreased. Now, D, which is the diameter of the road, increased. All of this led to a decrease in the diffraction. So that is it, members. Thank you for watching.